Day Celestic Seekers, I'm Unsilent, and we're on the air with more Pokemon Platinum version. It's episode number 14 of Pokemon Platinum. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out, we were here in Slacian Town, exploring the ruins off to the right there, and the Lost Tower down south there. And then we'll change the rotation with uh, our friend Shellos being added in, in place of Psyduck. Now we're going to... Oh, that's the... Uh, thing. Uh, the daycare. Not interested in. We're going to take Route 210 North. This looks like the tall grass. Oh. Yeah, that was a little thick getting in. Now, uh, Celestic appears to be the next one on the radar for us. As we kind of head north. And that'll be north to the west. And then there's... Uh, oh, what was the other one? There's another one that's north and to the east as well. So we'll take a look at the map real fast and kind of... Tell you about that. Uh, bag. And then key items. And town map. So yeah, we're going up this way. We're following Route 210 all the way to Celestic. But if we take the... Right on 215, we'll head to Veilstone. I'm thinking we're going to follow it in numerical order and go to Celestic, but... I'm sorry, you can see me in the tall grass. My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm right proud of them. Well, it sure is a nice day for Pokemon dueling, cowboy. Or rancher. Okay. Interesting. Mock punch it. Yeah, I've got... I can scratch it too, but I mean... Fire spin and go right ahead. It's gonna do dots. There's more damage over time. And Stomp will do more damage. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a crit. Ah, uh, well, we'll probably just duck back to the Pokemon Center then. Just hit the scratch and end it. Yeah, we just got kind of screwed by the crit there. We've been fine otherwise. I guess it makes sense for a rancher to... Oh, Shell grows to 14. Would have been good to have up against this, if not for the level disadvantage. Would have eaten a lot of those hits very well, and would have dished out some super effective stuff back the other way. Oh, now we get to see what's in tall grass. Oh, just a Geodude. Alright. One trip to the Pokemon Center later. Okay, so we can do battles. We can kind of go up some stairs or whatnot. Oh, a step counter. Oh, you're just a jogger? go this way. Do this battle. I'm taking rest. If I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. Ha ha! Uh, you should rest up too. TM51, which I can only assume is going to be rest. Or you're not going to tell me. TM51 roost! The user lands and rests its body Restores the user's HP by up to half its max HP. I assume it can only be used in battle. I don't know if it's got any long term, like if it's gonna, if you know, if it has to roost for a couple turns or something. Oh, not, not bang. What we want to see is, 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 is. I feel like I've been neglecting Staravia. But we'll see. Because we gotta. 2v2 here. Oh, I'll show you my how tightly I've bonded with my daughter. I get away slacking off I've had my Pokemon out. Perhaps I should have uh, gotten Shellos out instead. It's Bell and Pa Ava and Pa Ava and Matt. Oh, Bell and Pa Ava and Matt. Okay, I, I get it. 
took me a second. It's like, what the shit? Can you break the rapid dash? Now is it going to use... Now it's going to hone in on my Luxio. I was trying to get the flinch in, but who gives a shit at this point? Spark the Rapid Dash because we should go through the... Ponyta. Ow! Because we went through the half of the Ponyta's health with the last Mach Punch, right? And it's just like, oh, and a crit. Oh, kiss my ass. Shows. Mock punch the Rapidash. Water pulse the Rapidash. What the hell? They're focusing in on Monferno. Which, I mean, whatever. Not great, but... Shellos should finish off the Rapidash with the Water Pulse here. No, it won't. Get the Rapidash there. Monferno and Shellos. Shellos will level up there. Doing some good old-fashioned battling. Gonna take down Monfer <laughs> with a crit. Not having a lot of luck right now. Shellos is gonna eat all the all the XP by finishing it off with that and leveling up. And she is the last one standing. Wants to remove hidden power. Let's see what we got here. A hidden power is a, a normal move. I thought it was a psychic move. A unique attack that varies type and intensity depending on the Pokemon using it. I'll put it in for hard and what the hell. Poof! I was a little late. No, we defeated Bell. And Pa, Ava, and Matt. She's the bell, he's the paw. So, alright. We talk to them, and alright. I think this requires a retreat. Tactical retreat. All right. This is the importance of building a good, varied team. Oh, sorry. Uh, Cafe Cabin freshly squeezed milk. There's an army of Psyduck here. We are not going north. Oh, hi. Sorry. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best. It's gonna be an army of Eevee, isn't it? Oh, it's a Magby? Oh, you're a baby thing from... Duck fire thing from... Uh... Frickin', uh... Blue. Well, it was a valiant effort. Down goes the Magby. And a Togepi. Now we're good, because Togepi is normal type. We know that one. So, punch it in the face. There we go. You can tell based on the cry how, how far back they came. Shells is leaning to the special attack. I mean, just fine. 
that works. It's kind of where we want it to. Let's go in here. The cafe. Howdy, traveler! Some of our customers are ratty types that want to battle. Do what you will with them, I don't mind. How you doing? What you having? Of course, all we ever have is Moo Moo Milk. $500 bottle. Oh, I had a bottle. What the hell? I'm not sure what it is, but... Oh, of course, you're one... I thought you said the customers were the battling type, not the goddamn waitstaff. Waitress Katie sent her to Clefairy. Which will promptly get punched in the face by Monferno. Unless it's fairy type now, in which case we might be in trouble. Not yet. I st I, I'm sure future Steve is already throwing the video somewhere. A what? Oh, it's defense rooms. Special defense rooms. And I'll just hit with that. Gotta play the advantages where you can. Yeah, I do find it odd that you'd take a loss with a smile, but... After a match, you should have some moo milk to quench your thirst. Just chug it right down, glug glug. Youngster, have you seen the side of cuddled outside? Yes! They suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I'm a collector and I love honey. So you will have bug types that we will melt. Hypothetically. A munch la Oh, it's a... <laughs> it's like a baby Snorlax. Uh, Snorlax is a normal type. So we'll play the advantage. And that's defense down sharply. Harshly, not sharply. There's a scratch. Tis but a scratch. Almost. And Edwin goes down. Well, at least now we know something that you can catch with a... With a honey. We're having a discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do. And I've just come in to intrude. It's Fernando. Oh, the Heracross. The Heracross being fighting and bug type. It was on the short list in the last game to make the uh, Elite Four team. Missed out, just as it will miss out here with a flame wheel. Mm, almost. Fury attack. Not too bad on damage. Hit three times. Ah, uh, yeah, just a scratch. Don't need to overdo it. Levels up Monferno to 30. There's the, uh... All the stats there. Shellos grows to 18. Leaning in all on the specials. I'm more knowledgeable than anyone else. I have a rare Pokemon. But I'm weak at battling. That's a Pokemon collector for you. I don't know. I'd imagine I'd see a Heracross at, uh... Saw you. I just want to... So I think we need this run up here. Oh, maybe not yet. For that. Yay, we're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon! Yay, we're all gonna battle! If you say so. Terry and Tia the Twins. Sent out a Pikachu and a Clefairy. So we've got Monferno and Luxio. 
So we'll mock punch the Clefairy, and Luxio can bite the Pikachu. I'm gambling on mowing through the Clefairy in one hit. Yes, I did. I know that didn't pay off in a previous fight, but you know, sometimes you just... You just gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Luxio levels up to 26. It's big, big boost on the attacks there. Pikachu uses Slam on Monferno. Luxio comes back with the bite. I was hoping it would be faster. Oh, paralyzed Luxio. Okay, well then we'll just attack it from range. Can't hit me if it's not a physical attack. Aha! 100, 100, 201 for Shellos. Down goes those two. Our mommy is a twin too. When mommy and auntie and me and Terry get together, it's really confusing and fun. Oh, uh, oh no, you guys started all the way back there. I was going to say, not that. I was going to say, but no. Hi. We'll just do this. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. I imagine it's got to be a cat thing. It's a breeder Khalil, and he'll send out an Elected. So, a mini Electabuzz. Electabuzz? Ah, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen one of those things. That's a Gen 1 original, so I think they came up with all the little tiny ones in uh, Gen 2. I don't know if they've really done it. So, well, obviously, we saw the mini Snorlax. Uh, a Happiny. Ah, but I don't know what a Happiny is. You know what, Staravia? I've been neglecting you. I'm sorry. We'll let you have some fun here. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's get a wing attack in. Oh, nice. That's why we have Staravia. She'll hit you hard. Shells gets 19. Down goes Khalil. Veilstone department store is pretty impressive. Do you know they even sell puffins? Well, that's interesting that you mention that because I think you have to head that way. A super repel. Alright, so. Oh, there's a tree there in case you want to put some honey on it. That will do nothing. It's raining. Fogging. It is not pleasant out here. I tell you. Any Pokemon worth catching over here? Let's see. An Abra, but we got one. Now, the Abra appearance has me slightly concerned. in Gibble for the moment. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm a treasure hunter. Today loses victory from you. If you say so. Challenged by Rune Mania Calvin. He's going to start with a Bronzor. Well, maybe Gibble wasn't the best, worst idea, actually. Sorry, I was going to say. Uh, uh, because... Dragon Rage doesn't give a shit about Steel or Psychic. It's gonna use Hypnosis to put me to sleep, but it's not good, but... And we'll see what we can do here. I don't want to panic. 
going to use Confuse Ray. So I'm going to be asleep and confused? That's interesting. Still asleep, still confused. Not sure what a prison was going to do when I'm asleep and confused. Gibble's still asleep. I think it's five turn max. Extra sensory. About time it used an actual attack. Oh, you carse, you crit. Would have done 15 points otherwise. Gibble woke up and now has to deal with confusion. It hurts itself in its confusion. Will still be good, but GS. Talk about a series of unfortunate events here. Snapped out of its confusion, we'll hit the Dragon Rage, finish off the Bronzer. We're gonna need to swap out Gibble. Ah, but for what? A shield on. So if I was to take a guess, if I was to take a guess, a Sheldon could be an evolution of Sheldos. Now, we've established that Sheldos would evolve into a water ground. Its primary weakness would be a 4x against grass. So we're going to send in Badoo. And all we need for Badoo to do is hit a... Well, I was wrong. I don't know what the hell that is. Hit a Mega Drain anyway. Did normal damage. Metal Sound. So that is Special Defense harshly down. So what it might come back with is a uh, Stun Spore. And try and... Kind of take some heat off. It's going to drop special defense again. So let's assume... Yeah, let's do that with the hell. That's some special attack up. Iron defense. I'm assuming it's a steel type. I'm... Now, this will be interesting. Because it's a steel type, yes. But at the same time, it's probably a ground type. I'm just, I, you know, get a feeling. There's just a straight steel type. We can always send back in uh, Monferno there. But for now, Badoo is taking care of business. Now. The thing here was that the oh shield on, not shelled on, shield on. Oh, well maybe I wouldn't have confused it with shells then. We got a little bit back on the Mega Drain, but I mean not much because we only took a couple of points of health off it. But down goes Calvin. Might need to... Tactical Retreat. Which is fine. Problem is you gotta go... You gotta go all the way back. I guess that was a good shortcut. All the way back here. Downshifted just in time. Get around that guy. This guy's a jogger. So we get the item. He's jogging around. 
I slow down, stop at time, sure, I'm only human after all. This guy looks like a fighting type guy. Which means I think you switch him with Luxio. I think Dark's got the advantage on fighting. Do unto others is the do unto you. Yup, it's payback. It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting. That's all, that's for sure. So TM66 is payback. As I said, payback is harsh. Use it after the foe and its power gets doubled. Well, there you go. Lesson learned. Get Badoo to cut this. There's a person on the other side of this. Yeah. You came along with your heart pounding. Think you can win like that? Hiya! Everyone knows a karate attack is doubled in power if you go hiya first. It's Black Belt Gregory who sends it to Machop. Nice time to have an Abra, wouldn't it? I'm just gonna double check. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's the other way around. Yeah, now I remember. I knew there was interaction here. <laughs> Flying Psychic F 2X. So, uh, let's use a spark here. Oh, so close. Oh, so not good. Tackle it out. Well, we. It was a good idea for a second. Send in another Machop. Uh, we will take the opportunity to switch in Staravia. Since she will have the uh, tactical advantage here. We're down a couple levels, but yeah, we have that, which is very good. Wing attack will help. Staravia is a powerhouse. We got the crit and the super effective and the stab, so it all kind of comes back together. I mean, it's continuing to fall. I hate these sorts of areas just because it takes so goddamn long. No, we're good. Keep... Keep Star Evie in. She's doing good. She's doing good. Get another wing attack. I doubt it'll wipe it out here, but... Yeah, I needed the crit. You know, foresight, but you know what's going to... Uh, what's bad for foresight is we come back with a quick attack. There we go. Hey girl, Staravia. And the level up to 22. 22! And Shells gets a 20. If I lose here, I wouldn't stand a chance at the Battle Frontier. No, against those hardcore pros, I wouldn't. A fist plate, I'm guessing that's for fighting type moves. Train your tips. Pokemon attacks are classified as either being physical or special. A physical attack is based on the attack stack of a Pokemon, likewise a special attack is based on the special attack stat of a Pokemon. We knew that, but oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Pokemon! Staravia up first. So we can... I was going to ambush you, but okay, that works too. Check out the sharpness of my fighting Pokemon's moves! Well, I'll be the judge of that. It's Black Belt Derek, who's got one Pokemon, a Croagunk. 
We've seen one of these before, I just don't remember. So we figure it's fighting and... Was it poison or something like that we figured? Was it just because of... Anyway, let's hit it with a wing attack. Won't get it in one go. Got it pretty close though. Swagger. Attack sharply rose, but we're also confused. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a quick attack in. That's all we need is to land a quick attack. We don't need anything. Okay, well, we, need, we can do that too. Ouch! Pursuit. What's that? Didn't do a lot of damage. Still confused. Come on, man. Seriously? Kiss my ass. All right, uh, let's see what we can do here. I think Shellos can handle this. Just one attack. Ain't much to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Faint attack. For 11 points and then gets mud slapped out of existence. Thought it was poison. That worked. There we go, Black Belt Derek goes down. And back to training for us, indeed. I think... Oh, Badu, if you don't mind. I don't think we gotta worry about uh, watering those. Take the two blockberries. And we'll replace with one blockberry. I mean, we could sprinkle some water. I'm not sure if it needs it because it's raining. And two pecker berries. We'll get one. And we'll get two, and then we'll plant one. Pekka! Now, I'm just curious where we are on the map. So if we're getting closer to Veilstone, I might just kind of stay the course, but... Get that hyper potion. I haven't had a lot of random encounters along the way, which I don't mind. It's a Meryl! There's one problem, we gotta do here. So we gotta be careful. Let's see how much damage, not much. Stun sport or not. Water gun won't do much damage. For obvious reasons. I can't go with the Mega Drain because it'll go right through it. How the hell do I keep missing that? Ah, oh, not the world. How does it keep missing? I hate. Ah, oh, screw this. <laughs> it gets more powerful as you go along, and then you get bullshit like that. Where you get crits. 1 in 16, but it always seems to pick the worst time and place now, doesn't it? So, we'll just kind of... Coast on back. To the Pokemon Center.
Gotta shift up. Oop, missed. Up and down, and we take this cut. Up. Shift down so we have a little more controls. We kind of go into this section and up and past the fighting guy. But who handles this? Alright. I was thinking, 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 that Veilstone would be a good name. Oh. This kind of gets us. Veilstone would be a good name for a place with a rock gym if we hadn't already been to a place with a rock gym. You know? So, I mean, it could be a good place for a psychic gym as well. TM34 Shockwave. Let's see what her... Jogger friend has to say. Oh, there's a 2v2 there. We found full heal, which I think is just for status effects. Now, there was a fighting dude back this way. We can take care of. And... Black Belt Nathaniel. The Crow Gunk. Uh, I mean... Shells would have worked there, but we'll work with this. Intimidate and Anticipation. And... Wing Attack. Now having the level advantage... Yeah. I mean, it was always... We've had it not work so well without the level advantage, but... Shellos is at 20. Yeah, yeah, we might want to take on Machop. Uh, might want to take the um, thing off it. Ah, no, see, here's the level disadvantage. This is what we were worried about. Good, not great. But again, we should be able to uh, hit the uh, stab quick attack and be fine. Until Staravia loses the normal kicker. And what's left? A meditate. Yeah. Tricky one, fighting and psychic. Assume wing attack will. Oh. Miss. Now we don't get to have another attack for another five weeks because of the uh, rain. Not bad. Mind Reader. Interesting. We'll speed it out with a quick attack, though. And Staravia carries the day there. I should be lighter by by the amount of sweat I shed. So you're cutting weight. Not... That's really sweating off the pounds. You're just dehydrating. Item take... Which we'll get Monferno and Luxio up because we're expecting the 2v2. Uh, not here. And here. Mm hmm. I'll take on anyone. It can only make me stronger. I'm taking the Veilstone Gym Challenge, but first. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Ace Trainer Dennis and Ace Trainer Maya. Start with a Gligar and a Rose Leah. Well, shit. 
So we got a ground flying and a grass poison. Bite the frickin' Gligar. Flame meal should go right through the Roselia. Shit! Come on, man. Toxic spikes. So we can't withdraw anyone because of toxic spikes. Flying in ground, flying in ground, flying in ground. Uh, not take a chance, just get rid of the Rose Leah uh, and hit the Gligar. Get rid of Rose Leah. Gligar, because it's flying in ground, it eliminates its most prominent weakness. We don't have anything ice to really go against it. Uh, and the flying gives it the advantage over grass. So it's in a good spot. We sent out a Ralts. Which is, a uh, grass and psychic, if memory serves. Bite the Ralts. Love the advantage there. Or maybe it's just a straight psychic, one or the other. But that's why Luxio will come back with a bite and get the super effective there. Maybe we focus on the left and leave them 2v1. You know? A lick -a tongue Do you think I remember what a lick -a tongue is? If we go through the lick -a tongue which we might, that spark wouldn't be the best idea, but... Maybe it's been rained on. It gives us an advantage. Okay, we get to paralyze. Well, it didn't stop him from using a stomp. So we'll mock punch the Gligar. We'll bite the Lickitung. Or is it poison and, and, and flying? Or is it ground and poison or something. I don't know. <sighs> Gotta get some luck at one point in one of these games. Okay, so we've... Oh, thanks. Crit now. So we're going to flame wheel here and we're going to swap out Shello swans in. <laughs> I think we're going to go with Gibble for the moment though. God damn it. Forgot about the Ah, oh, kiss my ass. And the poison is just going on and on and on. Get the scratch in there. That'll take care of it. Oh, now you give me a crit there. Fantastic. What RNGs. A weasel. Use Luxio again. Okay. 
Aqua Jetted Gibble. And we'll get Dragon Rage. It should finish it off. We're going to lose Gibble for our, our troubles, though. And that gives us a chance to swap in. Unfortunately, we got to make the move first. Let's go Staravia. A Drift Blim? Well, at least we got the Intimidate on it. We'll have to wing attack it because if it's ghost, then normal. Because it was like that. Because we've seen Drift Flumes, not Drift Limbs. So we gotta use some sort of. Use Gust. Must be some sort of. I don't know, what the hell? Uh, hey, Shellos! Not Staravia, whatever. You can water pulse it. We can get you to flying attack it. This has not gone well. Stockpile. Stockpile one. So it's defense rows and special defense rows. And the rain continues to fall. We should. Be able to get out front with the wing attack here and finish it off. A little more adventurous than it needed to to be, but we got it. And Shells gets up to 21 at least. Grinding up that special attack. Dennis and Maya go down. We gained that her confidence was crushed. So let's see, we have reached town. Balestone's just around the corner. A wiki berry. Maybe we can look up what it is on Wikipedia. A mago berry, nope. Those are new berries, we haven't seen them yet in the game or the series. This will be the way into Veilstone. I want to go to Celestic Town, but there were some Pokemon in the way. It was by the air, but they're not budging. Yeah, I feel ya. It's Veilstone City. Team Galactic's here, though. There's a gym there. Hello, does anyone... Oh, there's a Pokemon Center. How's everyone doing? Poorly. So we're gonna stop in here at this lovely Pokemon Center, get healed up. There's a gym and there's all sorts of crap happening. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what's, uh, what's coming around here. In Veilstone. Next time on Pokemon Platinum version, but until we see you for that, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is Unsilent on air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more Pokemons, uh, Ruby and Platinum in the playlist. They're on the screen in the description down below. More videos any time on the channel page and until the next time i'm on silent thanks very much for joining me like share subscribe and we'll see you next time